Hi, I'm Matt Miano, events manager for the town of Dillon. I'm standing here with council member Louis Scovera. We have actually just been uh, deputized as uh, junior Dillon police officers. How are you today, uh, Junior Deputy Scovara? Yeah, uh, I'm quite well, thank you very much. It's, it's a, a new title and uh, I'm appreciative for it. As you can see, we are coming to you live from beautiful and bustling downtown Dillon. We're here at the uh, Dillon Town Hall slash Dillon Police Department, if you couldn't tell by the police cruiser. Some of you back home may have assumed something different with Mr. Miano exactly. and I standing in front of a police cruiser. We're standing outside of it. We're not up against it, that's so I, it. you know, exactly. that's good. And we're actually here for an exciting reason. Uh, we recently appointed our new uh, police chief and uh, he was sworn in about a week ago. And I'm gonna let uh, Louis, I'm gonna let you chat with him and introduce him to the people of Summit County, uh, as well as around the world on the internet uh, here in a few minutes. But before we get into that, let's talk about the council update. Uh, yesterday in our work session, we actually started with something really cool. We walked across the street and uh, checked out the theater. Yeah, it, it was neat for a lot of us to see, uh, of course, we've all been to the theater for a, for a production over the course of the years, but uh, I'd never had the behind the scenes tour. So for those of you at home who, who've had a chance to make it to the, uh, the Lake Dillon Theater across the street. There's um, a lot of innards and outards of, that's yeah, not, that's not yeah. a word, outards, but a be. lot a lot that goes into that <laughs> that you don't see. Absolutely, yeah. So, so if you've been in the facility, you understand how, how cramped it is really to begin with. So the, the history of that building is it was the old Dillon Town Hall, yeah. the old Dillon Community Center. This is this is old under the Lake Dillon. Um, it was the dance hall. It was sort of the the, the, uh, the place to be. It was the place to be. And over the years, it's been converted to the the theater. Um, the Lake Dillon Theater Company has just done a bang up job with the facility they have. But uh, as I was saying a minute ago, cramped would be one word to say. I would agree uh, with that. They're they're doing a lot with very little over there. And we got the uh, we got the the, the the behind the scenes tour yesterday. Yeah. Uh, just. To, to get a better appreciation of what it is that they're doing over there. And something that uh, Chris Solomon had mentioned was, you know, the, the theater has continued to grow, but just in the last six or seven years, they've really grown. And uh, and I think that's why that term cramped is kind of, uh, you know, it, it, that space has become a little small for them. I thought a lot of, there were a lot of cool things though that I saw. I mean, they talked about that black box configuration mm -hmm. and how they're able to change it for each different show. And uh, it was a really neat experience, I would say, to, to get over there and see that. Oh, it was great. Yeah, you, you mentioned the black box. And, and going forward, so uh, for, the, for the town council, unanimously, and, uh, and, and town staff, everybody in town, it is a priority, a top priority of our council and our town to keep the theater in Dillon. Going forward, they're interested in expanding the space. That was half the idea of our uh, tour yesterday was to, again, understand sure. what they're working with now and what they'd what they need to, uh, to, to succeed in the future. And um, again, a top priority for our council and our town to keep the Lake Dillon Theater in Dillon. Um, and hopefully, hopefully ultimately get them into a, a, a space more fitting of their needs. They are at this point a, a theater company with a million dollar budget, which is significant. They are a professional theater company and um, that, that is a top priority of all of our council yeah. well, to keep them here. And seeing what they're able to do with this space, I, I, I for one can only imagine the potential for what they could do with a bigger space. So, I, you know, I think optimistic would be a good word to describe oh, yeah. uh, where that stands. So. Absolutely. It's, it, it, it's really, the, the, the conversations are exciting, really. It's, yeah. uh, uh, again, if you've been to the theater, you know this, they are currently operating in a black box theater that is 25 foot by 25 foot. It's not very big, yeah. uh, if you can imagine that. Some of you at home might have bigger living rooms, and they are they are hosting professional uh, theater acts. Yeah, there. I'm laughing because my living room is not that big. Uh, nor is mine. Something, something that was cool <laughs> was uh, as we were standing there, I looked up behind me and I was looking at uh, the the lineup for the summer, and uh, and I did notice. I, I think it's towards the end of August. There's a Johnny Cash. Uh, production that they're doing, which I thought was really cool. So yeah. uh, go to LakeDillonTheater.org. I don't know all the shows, but definitely check that stuff out. Check so, them out. And if, you, if you're a local who's been up here for a few years and you haven't had an opportunity to go over and check out a theater production, it's awesome. do yourself a favor. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's an experience and unlike anything that you'd get up here in the high country. Yeah, grab a date, go get a glass of wine prior somewhere in town and, and head over to the theater. Yeah, fellas, it's a killer date night. Look into it.
Agreed. So after that, we uh, we walked back across the street over to, to Dillon Town Hall. And uh, I know that in the election that happened on April 1st, uh, there were a few different things that changed. Kevin Byrne stepped up to be, become our new mayor. Mm -hmm. uh, you then stepped up to be the mayor pro tem. By Kevin stepping into the, the mayoralship role, uh, that opened a seat on town council. So we took care of that. Yeah, that's right. So, so this, this happens pretty regularly. In fact, in just my short time on the council, I believe we've had three appointments. So this, this took the shape of a, an appointment. Um, for, for one council seat, it doesn't make a tremendous amount of sense to hold a special election. So oftentimes we'll solicit applicants from the community, people who are interested in filling that, and then we go through, um, I'm completely, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We appo an appointment, the appointment yeah. process, sorry, completely gapping. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, we interviewed a few candidates last night. We had letters of interest from a few folks, and we ended up selecting and appointing a gentleman uh, that many of you might know by the name of uh, Ben Raitano. Ben has been a member of the Dillon community for over 30 years. You might know him from one of his 15 years of service on the Dillon Town Council. Oh, so he's done this before. This isn't his first rodeo. Not his first rodeo at all. Ben uh, uh, very clearly has, 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 has a desire to serve his awesome. community. So to have his name in the hat was great. It, to bring someone in with the historical knowledge and the perspective and of a, of a 30 year uh, uh, sure. member of this community. Seeing is great. how the community has changed and, and is still very interested. So that is great. Yeah, we, uh, several of us have had a chance to get to know Ben over the course of the years. He and his wife, Dr. Flo Raitano, uh, they're, they're very involved uh, in the community and they come to quite a few of our meetings. So we've had a chance to get to know them over the years. And, and again, that historical perspective is going to be invaluable great. to our council going forward. Awesome, and I know, then I know from there, uh, we moved into, I guess, my realm, uh, the events update for the summer, uh, and we're, we're ready to go. I mean, yeah, it's a little cloudy out right now, but summer is, cl can you tell me, is summer close? I, I think it is, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm no pucks Tony Phil, but I, I reckon it's around the corner here somewhere. You are but a junior deputy. I, I'm a junior deputy, I mean, that's, that's that might for sure. be better than being a, a groundhog, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Um, but well, yeah, listen, tell, yeah, yeah we've got a little that. bit of time. Um, our cleanup day is actually May 17th, so that's a week from Saturday. Uh, Traditionally, that one is usually snowing anyhow. So dress warm, but please do come out. Uh, it's a great opportunity for folks to pick up. Obviously, in the winter time, trash tends to build up in all the snow banks and stuff. So it's a great opportunity for the community to come out, come together, and uh, you know show that they care about the town of Dillon. Then after that, we do host a picnic in Dillon Town Park, hot dogs, hamburgers, all that fun stuff. Uh, weekend, a week and a half after that is Memorial Day weekend, of course. And then Monday, we hold our Memorial Day ceremony up at uh, the Dillon Cemetery. Uh, again, dress warm. That one is usually kind of chilly as well, but uh, that one is really a great community event. It uh, brings a lot of folks out, and uh, we get to pay uh, a great honor to the folks who have served our country. Uh, and then from there, we get into all the, the I mean, the full-on summer, farmers markets, concerts. What's your, what's your favorite event of the summer? Well, well, you just hit, you hit two there, right? Uh, so farmers markets, certainly. I'm a June 6th. June 6th will be our first farmer's market, is that correct? And yeah. that will run through? September the 19th. September the 19th, so. Every Friday. Every Friday, and you'll see me there every Friday. I do, you and your special lady friend yep, come out. Yep, stocking up on I love, I love name dropping your special lady. <laughs> she probably watches this and gets mad at me, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, stock up on all the good stuff every Friday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Buffalo Street, Lariva <coughs> parking lot, and on to Main Street. Uh, so that's the farmer's market, and then uh, June 21st is, uh, or I believe that's the Saturday, it's the Lake Dillon Beer Festival, the Lake Dillon Brew Fest, Great. which uh, I know you've come to, and yeah. that's really a cool thing. I think I was meeting with Travis and Annie Holton, members of the DBA, and of course owners of Pug Ryan's who were very involved with that event. Uh, they're up to about 26 to 30 uh, brewers, which is how it's been in the in the past years, and uh, it, it really is an awesome time. I mean, I, again, I, I know you've been there this year. Uh, the band that we've got headlining is the Samples. Uh, a lot of you remember them. If if I mean, you're young. I, I, I remember you the might Samples. Not, okay. No, absolutely. They, they were big when I was in like high school. A big big band from sure. the '90s, Colorado-based band. So. Uh, that should be really cool, and that really kicks off our summer at the amphitheater. I know you're a big supporter of the concerts down there. Absolutely, and, and really, this this, this Lake Dillon Beer F Brew Fest, Lake Dillon Brew Fest, that's Lake what Dillon we're calling Brew it these Fest. days. That's the official. Lake Dillon Brew Fest isn't it, it's an exceptional event. Those of you who haven't had a chance to come out and check it out, look into it. It's it, it's it's a great time. Uh, 
all Colorado brewers, uh, usually about 30 of them, like yeah. you were saying. Yeah. Uh, a, a, a percentage of the proceeds go to the Colorado Brewers, brewers Guild, Guild which is a, which is a nice nice thing that Travis and Annie Holton do. And um, man, it's a killer time. It's it's a day of music and uh, sampling and, beer. And it can't. I mean, there's not a more beautiful place oh. around to host a beer festival. It's down at Marina Park overlooking the Dillon Reservoir. Yeah. Uh, when the sun is shining, you really just cannot beat it. You can't beat the North Shore of Lake Dillon. That's the for sure. The North Shore I'm trying to get Dillon. that one to I, stick. You know, with the stand-up paddle boarding <laughs> coming in, if we could just create some waves, it, it really will become the North Shore. Uh, so that starts, uh, that, that's presented by the DBA. Uh, and then the weekend after that is when we start cranking up all the, the concerts throughout the summer. Friday nights, Saturday nights. Friday nights are hosted by the Dillon Business Association. Saturday nights, of course, are from our friends across the street, the Lake Dillon Theater Company. Uh, we've got a number of town concerts coming up. Uh, July the 6th, uh, do you know what's going on July? I'm putting you on the spot. I, I do, so uh, that's a Sunday after that July is, yeah. 4th, and uh, I know I'm excited about this. We've talked about this plenty, but uh, Mr. Miano and his event staff uh, are bringing in the Dark Star Orchestra for a Sunday night. For free. For free. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah How I'm, can you beat I, that? I, I'm actually, I'm really excited about that. Uh, obviously, all the folks from around the country who happen to be here that weekend are welcome to, to come on out and join us. I'm really hoping the locals, I, I know sometimes on July 4th, uh, I like to kind of stay away from the hustle and bustle Certainly. of town because it does get a little overwhelming. But Sunday, July 6th, it'll be nice, mellow. Come on out, uh, listen to some music by Dark Star Orchestra, of course, playing uh, the Grateful Dead. It, it should be really cool. Uh, and then at the end of the summer, we're kind of doing something similar. Uh, and I'll put you on the spot again. You know what that one is? I do. So uh, September the 6th. You're, yeah, you're that, on. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. So uh, many, of you, many of you will remember the uh, the machine concert that we had last summer. That was cool. Wasn't it, it was a, it was a spectacular yeah. night. Never seen that amphitheater as packed as it was that night. There were what six, eight thousand folks having a great time. There uh, were more than one or two. I know that much. Uh, it, more than one or two. Yeah. And uh, again, once again, uh, Mr. Miano and his event staff uh, are bringing the machine back for a September sixth date. And uh, this is pretty exciting. Oh, well. So what's kind of cool is last year we brought them in, and I was really stoked just to, to get them here. Uh, and then someone, <clears throat> excuse me, had suggested, hey. What if you brought him back again? I and mean, you know, I don't like to necessarily do the same thing twice sure. you know, over and over. So how could we change it up? So the way we change it up is the machine will be performing Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here, the two albums from uh, front to back in their entirety. So that's really going to be a terrific night. Uh, September 6th, as you said, uh, and that should really wrap up what will hopefully be a terrific summer. Absolutely. So, so we just listed off a few events here, but TomandDillon.com has we go. it all. Uh, Facebook, we've really got a, an exciting Facebook page going. It's just uh, Facebook.com slash Dillon Colorado. So you can catch all that stuff there. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, I'm excited. This is, you know, I've been planning all winter long. So this is when I start to get excited and uh, say goodbye to my family and, and get to work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, then we moved on from that and uh, we talked about Slash. That's right. So sl many of you who, who uh, have homes and, and, and property in the community, uh, especially with the, with the recent pine beetle infestation, you might have a whole heck of a lot of standing dead, some, some, some uh, yeah. yard scraps, uh, but, but really tree scraps. How about we say that? Anyways, the conversation we had last night, it's uh, another partnership that we're looking at with the county. Um, we have a big old parking lot out by our Dillon Cemetery. That, uh, that might be uh, used in the future as a slash removal, or rather, slash what would you pile? say? Yeah, slash that? pile, let's call it that. So, yeah. so you got all your it's yards. It's a public scraps. works could, thing. Yeah, you know, exactly. out of my wheelhouse a little bit. Absolutely, yeah, not, not my wheelhouse at all. But look for that on the future. But uh, really, you know, this is, again, I mentioned partnerships with the county. Uh, and in that same neck of the woods, really uh, love to take a second and talk about disc golf. Yeah. We're, we continue Man. our conversations about the Lake Dillon disc golf course that we're hoping to have installed sometime shortly, hopefully mid-summer. But uh, that's gonna be right out there by the Dillon Cemetery as well. Uh, again, a, a partnership with the county, partnership with Denver Water. We're still talking to those two entities, but uh, this could be, it's, it's a very exciting opportunity it is for be us. Cool. Let me ask you this, are you a, a forehand or a backhand kind of guy as far as you throwing your disc? Really trying to develop my backhand, but okay. I, I sort of, uh, being a baseball player, the sidearm was more natural, okay. uh, but, but uh, trying to develop the backhand because that's where you get right. your distance. 
That's oh really? It is. Yeah, I wouldn't have known yeah. that. We'll have to get out there. You can show me. A thing yeah, too, hopefully so. we'll be able to show you sometime uh, out at the Lake Dillon Disc Golf Course. Man, that's going to be exciting, and hopefully at some point this summer we'll uh, we'll yeah. have that opportunity. We so. will be soliciting volunteers for that effort. Please feel free to get in touch with me, Louie, L O U I S at townofdillon.com. All right. I don't, what else have we got? I, I mean, I know I that our new all. police chief is standing over there chomping at the bit. I'm not sure if he's like looking forward to throwing us in the back of the car or actually <laughs> chatting with you or taking our badges away, but uh, let's move on. I'm going to step out and I'm going to let you introduce right uh, Chief Mark Hemminghouse to the, the uh, Summit County and the town of Dillon. Looking forward to the summer. Appreciate all the work that you put in uh, for all the events that we have going forward. Sounds good. Thanks so much, Louis. Yes, sir. Hello friends, welcome back. Again, my name is Louis Scovera. I serve on the town council here in Dillon. I'm standing next to Chief Mark Hemminghouse. We are using the, the title Chief. I know, okay, I, know, I, know okay. it, I know it's something that you object to, but <laughs> uh, I'm really excited to be able to introduce you all at home to uh, our new chief, um, Mr. Mark Hemminghouse. Thank you, thank you very much. It's great to have Mark. So as many of you know, uh, we, we went through a hiring process over the last couple months. We had several very qualified ap applicants and uh, our committee um, walked out of it very confident that Mark here was, uh, was gonna be the best fit for our community. We're very excited to have him on board. Uh, he was just sworn in last week. So uh, we'll just take a few minutes here and introduce you to Mark. Where are you coming from, Mark? What's uh, your, what's your uh, immediate background? My wife, Jerry and I have lived in the county for 11 years now. So uh, prior to that, or what, during that time, I was actually working for Frisco Police Department as the administrative sergeant and uh, additional duties as the SWAT commander. Outstanding. So involvement, uh, the SWAT, is, that's a county-wide yes, effort, Yes, county correct? agency, correct. So you work with all the different entities. I reported to all the chiefs and the sheriff. All right. <laughs> Several bosses. That's, yes. that's, that's great. Okay. Yes. Cool, and Frisco for 11 years? Ten and a half. Ten yes. and a half. Yes. And, and prior to that, you were? Uh, I worked down in the front range. I worked for Boulder Police Department assigned to the Boulder County Drug Task Force. Okay, yeah. outstanding. Yeah. So you're familiar, obviously familiar <laughs> with the mountain communities and, yes. uh, and, and everything like that. Yes. That's great. Yes, very excited and honored to be here. Oh, well, we're, we're very, very excited Fantastic. to have you. It's going to be a great fit. Um, so the reputation that you, that you came with from, from Frisco, Chief, is... Uh, a guy who's out there talking to business owners, walking walking around Main Street. I, I would imagine that, that the citizens of Dillon can expect the same here, at, whether it be the farmer's market or the amphitheater. See you around, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, uh, last Friday, I got out and walked around just a little bit for, for a little while and uh, went around through the mall and, and around through some of the businesses. Uh, unfortunately, some of them were closed. Sure, so, uh, all that not, time of year, right? It, it is that time of year. <laughs> we all know it. So, um, But, yes, that's going to be one of my main goals is to get out just like I did. Um, I love riding bike patrol. You'll probably see me out on bike patrol in my shorts. Oh, I'm not afraid to do that. <laughs> um, my legs don't tan very well, but hey, I'll show them off. That's okay. Well, that's great. That's great. Yes. That's, a, that's a perfect fit for our community with the, with the marina, again, with the yeah. farmer's market, with right. the amphitheater. People are walking around, and I think it's going to be great for them to get a chance to talk to you and oh, yeah. get to know you. So absolutely, yeah. when you folks are out, out and about this summer uh, here in downtown Dillon, make sure you flag down Chief Mark here and uh, introduce yourself. Yeah. So, so biking, what, what else do you do with your free time? Uh, love to fly fish. One of the main things I do um, is get out and fly fish. And then uh, I'm a big participant in the Project Healing Waters. We uh, get a group of soldiers from Fort Carson out and we take them fly fishing for the weekend here just north of Silverthorne oh, on the Blue River and various uh, other places in the county. So uh, love to do that. Uh, mountain bike. Uh, I used to participate in runs a lot, but plantar fasciitis is kind of oh, oh getting old, but uh, <laughs> it's kind of sidelined me a little bit, so this may be the year of the bike. But um, just love to be outside. My wife and I love to hike and bike and just get out there. Oh, that's great. Again, yeah. a perfect fit with, with the community. And you, you and Jerry, you, you live in, in Breckenridge, We correct? do, yes. Outstanding. Yes. Not, not a terrible commute? No, no, not at all. <laughs> no, in fact, now I have options to come to work. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, can you settle this for me? Is it quicker, sure. Swan Mountain, or coming over the dam? Yeah. Which one's quicker? I don't think either one's quicker. I, I really don't. Either. I think it's six one half a dozen the other. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wrestle with that every time. Heading, yeah. Heading north out of it, it also depends on who you get behind. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, you, you finished up your first week on the job, and um, I did. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's my second week. All right, so yeah. we're getting settled in, and uh, so I'm sure you've had a chance to identify some priorities that, that you're going to address here. Oh, absolutely. Where, where, absolutely. Where, would that, where would that start? Um, one, of, one of the first priority, I think, is to hire some people. We're down two officers and a sergeant right now. So uh, we just did ap um, some interviews this afternoon. Oh, Actually, great. this morning into this afternoon, great. we did five interviews, and um, I'm excited. We've got some really good applicants. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Outstanding. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to get a Are you going to get a boat for the town? A cop <sighs> boat. The the former mayor was hot <laughs> on the trail of getting a. A, a, a Dylan, Dylan PD cop boat. You know, I've got a really good relationship with the guys who, who drive the boat for the county. So I think we can commandeer one if we need to. There we go. So okay. rather than pay for one, I think we'll just borrow one if we need it. I like that. that yeah. that's, that's the right answer. Perfect yeah. approach. Yeah. yeah. Outstanding. Yeah, we'll have to get Zach to take us for a ride one of these days. He, he, he <laughs> always seems keen. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, Right on. Well, yeah. it's great to have you on board. Great I don't have any here. other questions. Do you have anything else that you'd uh, like to uh, Welcome show? to the force. Oh. Pre oh, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah we'd like well, to have you. We'd love yeah. to have you, you and Matt. It's great. <laughs> two, in fact, that might be our two openings. Perfect. Nine to seven, nine o'clock tonight to seven tomorrow. You okay with that? I can do that. Yeah, All right. Absolutely. Okay, absolutely. we'll I fill you in. in my schedule. Nice. Right on. Okay. Thank you very much, Thank Chief you. House. It's good to have you. And, it's great uh, to be here. I, I can't wait for everybody in the community to have a chance to talk to Chief Mark Hemminghouse. He's uh, the latest addition to the, the town of Dillon staff, and uh, it's going to be a great fit. We're very excited. We're very lucky to have him. Sorry, Frisco.